Today is Good Friday. And often people will say, well, why in the world do they call it good? Because this is the day that they crucified Jesus Christ. Here's why. Because what seemed like to the eyes and to the minds that it was the bleakest day ever, it was not the end. It was not the end. It was another new beginning. A new beginning better than any other beginning. That the end <laughs> was just something that was not the real truth. That something was happening much bigger. That the beginning with God is always bigger than human ends. Many times you have gone through an end experience. Maybe a divorce or a, a firing or a layoff. And you've thought, well, this is the end. But my friend, the whole Christian experience is that the end is not what it seems to be. Not with God. When you have God with you, you have another new beginning coming, a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance, and a better rebirth than you've ever experienced before. That's what it means to be a Christian, to realize that even when things seem bleak to your human mind and to your eyes and you don't see any way out, with God, there is an out. With God, there is a way. And with God, new and better opportunities and days will follow. Now, many of us have gone through what is referred to as a crucifixion. Now, maybe not in the cruel sense of hanging on a cross and the gruesome nails, and uh, truthfully, I hate to hear the story. Because much more than him dying for us, he lives for us. And that is the whole wonderful reason why it is called Good Friday. He knew this was going to happen. He told ahead of time that this was going to happen. And then it happened, and it was so gruesome. But then, there is more. And that is the whole experience of Easter. And to be lived, it has to be felt inside of you. It has to be something where you realize that even though you've gone through some crucifixion in your own life, that there is life after seeming death. We're Easter people. We are defined more by our resurrections than our crucifixions. And therefore, I pray that you have a happy Good Friday. And during your time of worship today, I pray that you have a glimpse of the new day that is coming. If you have gone through an ending or a crucifixion in your own life. This is called Yet More. I wrote this just for today. Dear God, I know no matter how bleak the outlook seems, there is yet more. Because you are at my side. I have reason to hope. I have reason to believe in more. Dear God, you are the more in my life. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.